Howdy. How is everyone? How is the stream going? <laughs> Sorry about yesterday. Had a little bit of a snafu. Internet connectivity in the place that I'm at is subjective at best. But here today, hoorah. Hey. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do today. Wow. Hi there. Hope I'm not too glistening. I'm out in the desert, so I'm wearing copious amounts of sunscreen and probably having a little too much beer. <laughs> ah, so much fun. Let's see how we're doing on the uh, loyalty points. Still having to use the mobile version for managing my stream until I get back to having multiple monitors <laughs> soon soon uh, semi vacation mode but not really vacation mode you know how it goes all right so today's bucket docket what have you I guess we could we could continue working on the bot we could also poke around here a little bit. I do actually have something simple I've got to do. We do have to make sure... Oh, I should have done this beforehand. Let's see what happens. This will let me know if I broke it. I'll suddenly lose my stream and it'll say I'm offline. I am offline. second to start again I probably shouldn't have messed with that but what are you gonna do I lost 65.2 percent of my frames Well, on the plus side, you're seeing what I'm seeing. So let's start that again. If you're on YouTube. One more try. All right. We'll just dump the VPN. Could have swore that I was connected to it last time. Just do something fun to the interwebs. I think we're back. <laughs> that 
was entertaining. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess I'm not running updates on the server, which means it's just terrible coding day. That's fine. I'll screw around with the uh, other madness a little bit later and then figure out what the heck's going on there. It's weird getting the camera placement right every time you have to move the camera. But here we are. All right, so what was I working on? I was still working on a front end. Front end work is definitely my least favorite work. What did I do last time? Why are you no scroll? Well, let's restart Chrome. Six eight dot eight dot one. Okay, that's working. Make sure. Got my clients, got my IP, everything's good jolly there. Here on the client side, I need to run it a particular way. Um, you yeah, know, it is just start. Would you like to run another port instead? Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is where we were at. Where it was just deciding to white screen when I try to connect to the socket. Let's do this. test all this though because that's why well, you know quit that is annoying that it was working and then it wasn't and now it is but it isn't okay we're in source why am i using the touchpad why am i leaning forward about that oh, yeah put it in components if only there was something that would tell me what I last changed speaking of which okay now this is all in here if I'm loading connection manager and use effect is set is connected to true is connected to false Uh, 
Oh, right, right, right. We were fighting with the arrays. Let's open up that log. Cannot write, read properties of undefined chatter user name. But it should be kicking events zero still. Eight, eight. Okay, so events is empty, or events array is empty. It's got a length of zero. So this tells me events is there, it's just zero. So I could probably also do, uh, yeah, <laughs> that thing. Okay. I mean, I'm still getting all of the errors, or am I? No, I'm not. Okay. So now we send a test message. It looks like it created the dot and the username, which I think is all we're doing here, right? Yep, just the username. I don't think that's not gonna work because even though it tells me, yeah, that's a bot, so it's not gonna, it's gonna ignore it. All right, now we're cooking with gases. So first we're, we're logging events. So let's look at what this comes down with. The event comes in, it's got zero, which I'm doing zero username. Then I need zero message text. So what I actually want to do is I want to make, I want to construct a variable that includes all of these things, right? So we want pushed uh, event equals, oh, we're going to have to do a let. Let pushed event equal, and we're gonna need these guys. It's weird using the laptop keyboard, what can I say? Uh, actually, that could be a good start right there. Chatter username, but it's not message, it's Oh, I need to get rid of that. No, because that should only be showing if it gets past this. So what the heck is all of this? Is it just now sending it a million times? Send a test. Test ascended. And I get two copies of it. Event array push is now going to be pushed event. catch uh, and test all right it's still giving me object object oh I need message dot text yeah 
There we go. All right, we're getting back there. We're getting there. See, was this that difficult? All right. And if I do this, test two. the problem in that it's creating a new array each time. Oh, cool. I caught a Pokemon. Or it's not creating a new array. It's just adding to this array. So this should be returning the event array. Event index what am I missing like that says to me that it should be taking this and it should have it should get an item called event and an item called index from the map right Or no, I want ray dot map. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that properly. Do, 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 do. Boop. I know, we just looked at it. I'm looking at it again. Okay, so that says it's going to do this thing to everything in there. But in this case, you know what, let's do this for the sake of argument. my best way of doing this what I think I want is these guys and then I want to do index right that should let me know so let's go back here what do you mean can't be reached Okay. So my index there is zero. But then just do test again. I don't see the index because it's not happening on a refresh. refreshing oops we don't want that let's get rid of you all right so why why are you not refreshing oops I mean, right now it says there's four of them, even though that's not true. But it's only doing zero either way. Oh, wait a minute. No, that is from somewhere else, isn't it? Uh, 
that is now a list of all of the events. So that's not where it's coming from. We need to find console logs. That's the only one there. Then it has to be here. But it is not here. Let's get rid of the extra one. I don't need that anyway. That didn't refresh at all. That's good, I guess. It's not what I want. Oh, I'm only pushing zero no matter what. So since I'm adding to the array here in pushed events I need this hmm. that's what I was running into I need that to tell me I need the index And the event. And the event. The event needs to be. It does need to be the pushed event. But only. This is going to break, but that's okay. Yeah, here's our breaks. And when I send... Bam! Okay, so this is back where we were. <laughs> Basically, because it's an object. So events is coming through as an array no matter what. If I just if I leave the console log events in there. There we go. It gets sent. If I do, oh, I need to refresh. Does it come through again with all of the events? No, it's still only zero. Okay, so it only builds up the events array if it doesn't crash. So I need, I do need, this, and this. But what I need to do is then unset events. And I need to do it before this, so. Map 
and then we say I don't like this I don't like this way of doing this but let's see what we get okay it didn't crash we have pong we're still not getting the second object and that is because well, no Zero is Pong, one is Ping, so why am I not getting this? This seems to only trigger once, but it's definitely triggered here. Because otherwise this wouldn't be logging. Oops. Yeah, so it's it's definitely there. So why are you only triggering once? Do I need to, I mean, it's not, this says it should be doing it for all items. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Instead of events, let's do event array. What are we actually getting? Because this should be erasing events. Hiding a cough. All right, we get test. Then we do test two. And that's because it just adds zero to it again. So I just need to do a four each. That doesn't. I'm not liking that this getting called, every time that this gets called, it's adding to this. Although I think I'm doing that on the other end. Okay. So I need four. Um, Event in events. Am I not doing that right? bug pokey cut maybe which that reminds me
We're just gonna pause that for a second. This is what I want. Pop out. Oh, over here. Go away. We're doing money wise. Not awesome. Hey, I caught this guy too. Well, how'd I get a Lugia? 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 I don't know. Not an awesome one, but I got one. Must have been one of these. That's what I cared about, though, is how much money do I got? Okay. So what's happening is I'm pushing this array through every time, right? Let event Well, let's do the let i equal zero trope. And then i is less than events dot length. I mean, I thought this was basically what map was supposed to do. You know what? Let's do it that way. If I do uh, events dot map, what I want in here is uh, no, not event. I want. message and I don't really care well actually index maybe user and uh, position sure I mean we're not going too far And we can kind of do the same thing, arrow function it, right? But we are going to actually need L brecados because they get added here. But in this case, we are events. Seemed like it didn't like when I used index. Okay. Events index do the thing. And then close, close. Goodbye. Oops. Let's see how we're looking. And we send a test. We get the test. Let's check test two. We now have test two. Huzzah! We can mess with the... Uh, like get rid of the buttons and all that sort of stuff later. But we have overcome. And that deserves a drink of water. Oh, 
Okay, so we can put that away now, kind of. I should probably rename that from events to messages, but... So right now, all we're returning is UL. Let's go back to app. Where does events get called? Events, event equals new message. Okay. And it's returning in its own div. Well, not its own. Let's get you out of there. Can I do this? Oops. Let's do another div. I guess not. What's the problem here? Can I only... Magician must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. Okay, okay. Good, now it's got its own. It sits over there on its lonesome, doing its own thing. I might have to put a pillow in this chair. <laughs> we can do it again. Nice, nice. All right. Um, right. I'm going to have to... I want to make a title frame around this list. I also want to make it so I can put this list wherever I want. I don't want it to be like, oh, it's right there and that's that's it. Deal with it. I can actually get rid of the connect and disconnect, I think. Because I don't think that means anything. Maybe it does. Now, this will be interesting because we skipped a message. Am I only going to have four messages in there? Yes. Good to know. Actually, that's kind of nice. Um, I think I'm going to jam that over here. So why does menu bar show up just fine? Return menu bar. Oh, because you're your own, you're getting put in your own div already. So I think I need to do that here instead of trying to break this up like this. We want to leave you here. Get rid of all of this because we don't need it. What did I do here? All right, so now in event, instead of just being dull like this, we just do a div because it's its own list. And we can just build up this item all on its own. And what are we looking at? Yeah. Pong. Pong. Okay, so now it's taking up a whole screen and we don't really want that, but I think I just have to do 
Oh, what is it? It's class name, right? Class name equals messages. And we should probably separate this out just so that it looks a little cleaner. And if I look at my menu bar, which just looks so nice, it's using all of these things. Let's go back over to our old version here. Oh, don't tell me I was a smart guy and already deleted it. It seems like something I would do, but... Views, here we go. We need the partials. Let's look at the chat. I mean, I guess I could just, I could keep with the ID here. Although, all right, let's, let's do it. Let me drag this, or grab this, and let's get back in here. Let's look at events. So this is what it's returning. Let's give it its chunk that it so desires. Oops. All right, so now I've got a title bar and then the messages container. And then I can basically like get rid of that and that should be fine and then it's a matter of using CSS to shift it around right if I remember right I'm pulling in state socket react all right but where am i pulling it in from that is a question <laughs> a question that i asked did i do it here okay so yeah that's it's grabbing that from bootstrap And then it's just loading app. Report Web Vitals console log or send to an endpoint. I'm not worried about that yet. Let's take a look at that. Take a look at some examples. So this is one of the things that really, what's happened with CSS, it kind of annoys me. It's it's great, but I kind of saw it coming in that everybody is creating their own style of CSS. So it's like learning another language, but it's like learning that one specifically. I don't know. I know I'm, I'm very far behind on that particular subject, but it is what it is. <laughs> Filing. Let's go with a starter template. 
Jumbotron style. How's that? Let's do that. So heading, heading, heading. This is a template for simple marketing. Okay, so what do I do? Just view source here. So class of Jumbotron and then class of container. I already have the nav bar and everything like that. Navbar inverse, navbar fixed top. So with that being the case, in my menu bar, I have navbar, navbar expand, navbar light, and background light. Navbar brand. So let's look back at my app. So the brand says zombie process control panel. And then I have my nav items. Okay. So now in events, my class if I'm following this guy is going to be container. No. Oh, I'm doing the, um, Last name equals container. I need to do that here too. Otherwise, it's a problem. And probably an ID as well. Chat container. I wonder if I should do that here as well, because it seems as though when I'm looking here, it's all dash separated. So maybe I make sure I do that here instead of camel casing it. Not seeing anything particularly interesting changing yet. Come in. Why you no send? Pong. Wait, is this just not here if there's no chats? Okay, that's... <laughs> That's not good. Um, so this is saying events and sending a new message. Um, it seems dumb to include chat there. Oh, I just need to make, I need to make sure that if nothing's there, rather than returning null, I just need to return an empty. I need to return all of this just without this. So instead of returning null, I just do this 
without this. Yeah, then it'll always return chat and cool. And what I should probably do is, well, I was thinking I should probably centralize this. So, but I don't think it matters too much. What I mean by centralize is put this in its own variable so that if I decide to change the name of that, I don't have to change it in two places. I only change it in one. Eh. Right? Eh. Okay. So now we have our messages. We're getting chat no matter what. Um, what I need to do is look at... my old one so it's got a class of title bar let's put these next to each other class name title bar ID is chat title bar. Oh, well, yeah, I copied and pasted that in. So div ID is messages container. Let's make sure that that's proper. And ul ID is messages dash list, which I don't have. Need them quotes. Messages dash list. Okay. We're not really seeing any changes here. If I go to localhost 3000, I don't want the API status, I just want 3000. chat shows up there that way not too much different I'm going to bet that I have something in style or in here I mean, that's important, but that's going to be for a different uh, chunk. Yeah, there we go. So I've got to include. So I've got like list item full message. Message timestamp, message name. I think a lot of these aren't actually used. But I'm going to grab all of this anyway. And go here. If I dump you in there, get rid of style. I think I already have body, right? Yeah. Cut that. A little pasta that. And we should be able to get rid of you. I don't want lime in there. I 
actually, let's get rid of you as well. A slight change there. Okay. That's looking more like how I want it to look. Um, I need to set a an absolute boundary on the size of this chat box. Grab some more of this water. This is this is one part of development that I just I'm so I'm not awesome at development in general, but as soon as you start getting into oh let's use CSS like just write out your web page and then use CSS to shift it around, uh, I start really falling apart. So what I want my preference would be to make movable windows. Um, actually, I should probably be looking here. Let's grab nav bars, carousels. I kind of want a dashboard, but not like that. Let's tr let's see. Maybe movable div, maybe. Show you, I'd be at least happy with a prose explanation as code, or even just you're doing it fine. Here's a JS fiddle of my work so far. Purple is React Create class. State. Who should own what state is an important question. Right from the start, a parent should own the current position of the draggable. In this case, the draggable would still own its own am I, am I being dragged state. But this would call on change whenever a mouse move occurs. Much and defer the final decision. Oh, well, I would rather use something someone else wrote. <laughs> Hasn't been updated for a while though. Last year. I suppose that kind of depends. Get your Poke Catch in. You know, I didn't even check. And my intent was to check. Do I have any regular. Okay, I still have 11. Good, good, good. Look, does that update itself? How much money do I have now? Give me the money! Yeah, no, that doesn't. Okay. 
Whoops. I mean, I guess last year's not that bad. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. But it is a basically a library. Wow. So two weeks ago, was there a response? Oh, you know, I didn't look at how many stars are there? 20,000 stars. Okay, that's kind of closer to what I need to know. Um, let's look at what it, what this is really going to involve, though. Thanks to Browser Stack for letting the maintainers use this service. Let's make card text write the docs draggable. Import React, use drag, item types. Default function is card, is dragging and text. Use React to do with the touch backend instead of the HTML5 backend. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Why not? Where am I? And while that does its thing, I'm going to get some more water. That's kind of creepy. And we're back. Four reels now. <laughs> All right, so we 
got that installed. Let's look at what we want to do to this guy. So we've got the default function uh, card. This is where we need to do the imports, right? Pile. And for the default function, which is this one, it's taking in I think all we need is is dragging, right? All right, so now we're setting opacity and drag ref. Type item types dot card item. In this case, our item is the event. So in theory, I just copied this in. Uh, I'm not using event array. I'm, oh yeah, I am. Okay. We want to add those in. And in our return, we just return style. We return this in the div. and style. Okay, so these are separate. Other one. We're doing title bar, right? Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Be nice if that's all it took. I'm sure there was something else there. So let's reload you. Okay, good. Can't resolve slash constants in source components. Text is not defined. Oh, right, right, right. I needed to rename text to events. Let's find module constants. Module not found error. Can't resolve constants in. This is saying it's from a completely different one, though. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. I have heard that these errors are super useful. Uh, event 70. Events at 7. What's going on at seven? That nothing about that seems incorrect. I'm sure I'm going to see it and go, oh. Um, all right. 
let's go back to what do they got here? So I've got the div drag ref style, and then it loads the text in there. Dragging in text. I'm using events. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That, I, I have my component and then I do this separate. So now, how do I actually... Is the assumption here that your component is text? Let's make card text equals write the docs. Oh no, okay, so that is actually sending in text because text gets sent there. So with my function being events instead, I have is dragging and I wonder if I need to just it shouldn't matter, but let's see what you're saying. Can't resolve constants. Module, I mean that. That makes me wonder, does something else need to be included there? is now depreciated. <laughs> Great. Okay. So I think what I need to do is we look here. Let's just search in here for constants. That isn't it, but make sure. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, import item types from constants. Sometimes. So I am in fact doing that. So the problem there is item types. So the idea is that they have constants there.
So what is item types? Let's make card text write the docs draggle. Doesn't plan to provide a sortable. Okay. Default class, your app, render, return. I don't know, should I do it that way? Maybe I try that. But let's undo pretty much everything we did in here. If we go instead into app, I keep kicking the camera and that's got to be terrible. <laughs> I've got such a small little desk here. So I need the draggable to start basically after, actually after menu bar. think so it's got root render well, let's just try that if I in app Actually, that means here, if I actually go before app and I, oops, if I go before app and I just do this, keep alt tabbing instead of not what I want. Why is there something running on 3002? Why are you going to 3002? it doesn't matter right so it's still loading 3002 let's look at the developer tools Yes, status. Okay, that comes up. That's no problem.
Why is it coming back like that? Oops. Okay. So it doesn't care. It needs... <laughs> that needs to be its own thing. Alright, fine. Fine. So after the menu bar, I need to wrap all of this according to this. Copy. Throw you up top. I could do. Expected corresponding closing tag for div, which it has. Promising. All right, so what that doesn't do is give me the handles to grab it. Oh, I didn't catch it. Womp womp. It just shoves everything to the left. Cool, cool. this documentation and this must be injected with a back end via the back end prop but may but it may be injected with a window object drag into. Okay. Let's make a box draggable. They're instructive about common patterns. They showcase the various aspects. And they act as a set of integration tests. Okay, so this is the examples.
for these examples. What examples? To run these examples. I mean, I knew that was going to go nowhere, but oops. I guess I need to pull this down. I saw the word examples here. Back in core examples. Let's look at nesting. Export contain okay, but the oh, these are all gonna be type stripped, which <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, export interface drag item. Colors, no big deal. Containers. That's a little better. Let's just go with drag around. Type ID. Oh, actually, one of these... One of these probably has the constants dot file. Can I just search in here? Packages, docsite, source. Yeah, that's the only one, and it doesn't have anything mentioning a card. All right. What was the thing? It was comparing it to something else. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's go back to here. Let's go to their page. Alright, so this is card. It's got I'm typing it from Constance. Constance doesn't exist. Oh. So I have now changed this. On that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Horse hat guy. 
Can I make any popular move? Why is this called naive? I can relies on browser drag and drop without much custom. Okay, custom drag layer. This is closer to one. I like that too, actually. So I have a mix between handles and previews, and then some sort of basically cancel on the left side. First test. All right, so let's go back to the example that they have on sort of bowl, and let's see what they look like. Now to tra try and translate TypeScript into Whatever yes. <laughs> no guess is. Uh. Alright, example source. Oh, sort of. right, well, I'll start with simple. So this is to create the cards. So cover see. Let's see, I'm gonna form the move when this cost half the items, right? Oh, and the container here. So this is just a space in which can move, right? Okay. Types. <laughs> okay. So I think this is basically what Constance was referring to. Give me the Place the contents. Alright, the index is specifically looking at the container. For update from the utility helper, type SE from React is the SE type React. Generic interface with the option of And it's important card, cool. Best style, container. I'm going to need to figure out how to save the container state. That's going to become important, but not right away. Set cards. Use state. So cards and then set cards. And move the card. And you run through all of them as a render card. And we import cards. Text number. Okay, so I think what it is. Drag it is fine. So it's seeming like this seems like the opposite of what React is, and I'm probably reading wrong. I'm still trying to figure out React, but this seems like the opposite of what React is trying to do, and that you're then just running everything in this card item. Export container as default. Here, we do it again. I think okay. so. Example without the script and type script is empty. That's fine. So, in theory, it's only grab a container, and what's actually returning is a div with a style and part now. And it's exporting to or exporting, it's running the function of render card inside each div. If I go to card, number is not getting called. So where is it getting the card? Return card. So that's what I want to be doing. Chat anyways, we're it that way. So that's kind of cool. We send that. Two 
gonna be maybe that job doesn't allow you to minimize these functions. I guess that way it doesn't minimize their functions, so I guess they're not under variables with callbacks. Alright, so I'm actually just trying to build the container. Here. And instead of just running a card, I need an option here to say render control. Well, I guess I can still be card. Render card. It's fine, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just here. Is. We would then just import each one of the items as cards here, I guess. I don't want to start working. You know what? This can be complex and look at the options there are other. After we poke a catch. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, that looks a little old. This is obviously something I look at. A year ago. When was the uh, last published about a year ago? I mean, this is kind of what I would rather have. So I'm going from and then just right in there. That's what it sounds like. I'm pretty nice to myself. You must look my handles right, which I would prefer. I can only move it in here. Okay. And also, the parent and child marketing work for me. I already have a switch position. Well, it definitely seems much more interesting. So, okay, so that puts everything in a draggable bucket. Only a single child is allowed or an error will be thrown. So what does that mean? Because there's a pile in the demo. All right, let's take a look at that one. That, that one looks interesting to me. Hundred ninety five issues, thirty eight pull requests. Zero weekly downloads, though. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Back in time. It has dropped off. Why is it dropped off?
Let's look at the issues. Trackable does not work. I uh, will put you in. We'll go here. Well, no, because I do want it in here. After the menu bar. I'm just going to grab exactly like they've got it. So, boom. Get rid of you. And we want Strackable. 3,002. Who does that Okay. So it says app extends to react component. No cheap felt viewers glow. Give whatever. Bye. Alright, so what's the air here? Can I read? to find hand sort. Hand start. Oh, I don't have a class in my handle. Alright, just do here then. We have an open div, and I'm going to go down to here, and I, I like it adding that. Let's see. Yeah, and this div needs a class name of handle. Oh, whoops. Cannot read properties of undefined reading handle start. Class name handle. Yeah, where are those coming from? <laughs> Let's look at this. Wait one second. All right, so equals window. This whole idea says on start, on drop. So how is this, how are these related? View the demo, this is not related to that demo. So it shows, let's just go to the demo. Go look at the demo. Track element represents existing and extends with a new event handlers and styles. It does not create a wrapper element in the DOM. So it's because I'm not extending. Let me just get rid of those. <laughs> if they're causing error, just start leading them into works, right? So what's the first error? Right, for type max, return value from arrow function. Well, those are just warnings. 
Can't read properties of undefined handle start. Oops. Cannot read properties of undefined reading class name. Find reading class name. Oh, do I need to that outside of the dragon? Wait, no. That's something. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking about something so i can move it left all right now we're getting somewhere somewhere we're gonna do quick book one second And back, or maybe, there we go, ah. Alright, so this is driven on the x-axis, so I just need to look at how do I... A, I need to create a handle. I want this. Create a demo, and it's source. Okay, so the source, in this case, is actually the source for the demo, not the source from down below. Alright. So let's look at here, this is where each one is created. Class name is box. Oh, and it includes drag handlers. Equals all start and all top. Okay. What's position control? That's state. So what I'm looking for. Strong class name is purser. So it says handle equals strong. Right, so let's go back here. Handle equals dot handle. So class name is something that's handle dot handle. So class name is box and cursor. Strong class name is cursor. Oh, okay, so I just needed a bit in it. Okay, so does some good. Uh, do class name, I'd like to handle. Handle. Okay, press from there, but that's not what I want. Okay, I'm registering. Oh, wait a minute, let me see my bottom of my face. So div class name is box no cursor. equals okay that's what it's saying so draggable handle in this case equals soak yeah there we go that would be x though so can you be x y that was done no so we need i can drag there so i can just get rid of that Now we're coming with guesses. Guesses, guesses. And I can make that box and cool. 
So now if I do the same thing, uh, boom. I actually don't even need this class name anymore. That's okay, that's okay. the same thing here, and then we close you with Oh, that's gonna be fine. I do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. So now, in theory, right now, it's not within its own div. Oops, that's all. All right, so there's two of them. There's Buell. So what are they do differently? Do they have to something else? Then what we dragged. I'm, I am gonna want that. So I'm gonna figure that one out. We can come back to it. Uh alright, this has a drag here. It's just the class no cursor, so that's fine. That's not an issue. Alright, so what's the deal here? What's the big deal? It's probably that I don't have a div wrapped around this. I can go there, I can go there. <laughs> Sorry, chat is over here, not over here, but. OBS definitely needs to do more with the GPU. Alright, so if I go back to this guy in the example, it's got I track my deltas. Can I just in here just add this? Reading handle drag. Can't read properties of handle drag. Alright, so it says this dot handle drag on drag. Oh, I'm putting some place. Let's clean this up a little bit. So we want to have two tabs, you want to three tabs. You want tab. Oh, you do that. Okay. So div on drag. So I guess what that means is that handle drag is up here. Handle drag. Does that take care of it? Handle drag is not defined. Handle drag is a type of value but never used. I don't think that's the right way of doing it, but let's see. Well, I'm not... Chunk. Chunk. So let's look again at the example. And in the example... I have long scroll of all. Where's the... Oh, there we go. I think I need delta position, huh? Yeah, I don't have those. So, what does handle drag? Oh, so it provides delta decision, or delta position. I wonder if the this dot set state is failing in the background. Until, yeah, there we go. Well, maybe it's failing because of that. I don't know why it decided to change over to 3002 from 3001. Bye. 
why would you do this to me? So I need to go to here and make you a Reload. Sweet, I got shiny. Shiny. Uh, Pandom node is depreciated. Pandom node. Active draggable. Add it directly to the element you want to reference. Hmm. That's something I'll probably have to fix a little later, but let's check something real quick. Okay, I guess I'm looking at my shiny Pokemon. Deal it. one of those guys and he's horrible but fantastic oh you know what I haven't done I haven't traded anything I should have met at the beginning and end of this but whatever any trades miss water type wind ranked catch wonder trade electric do I have I swear that doesn't work. Or I just don't have an electric. It's certainly possible. Uh, actually, oh yeah, right there. That's an electric. Trading. And I got a Spiro. Nice. Alright, so now we got this thing doing its thing. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I do still need to make it a box. I think this might be where I call it for the day. It's been fun. It's a little bit shorter. Quite a bit of me uh, failing to do something, but I think I'm getting there. And what we can do is I'll plan on doing a little bit of reading about, oh, those are slightly offset. Interesting. Uh, a little bit more reading on React tonight, uh, specifically on these draggy bits. And we'll work on cleaning up some of these components and making them more usable. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the stream wasn't too bad today. I saw it get a little shaky. Let's see. Yeah, we're not too bad, but hopefully at least the audio is okay. Um, if you're on YouTube watching, thanks. And if you're lurking, Thanks for that, dude. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. And uh, have a good one. Bye.